Hey, welcome back. It's the beginning of the week now. It's Monday morning, getting ready to go thrifting. And I'm only going to go thrifting for about four hours today because Mondays are slow for me. They purge, they get rid of their old stuff, they slowly put out their new stuff, but hey, it's my job. I go thrifting Monday through Friday. So again, I'm going to go for about four hours. I'm going to take you with me. We'll see how many stores we can hit. I'll show you all the stuff along the way. And then at the end, we'll go home. I'll go through everything I got and see how much we can make in the four hours that we're going thrifting. Wish me luck. So public announcement. Some of these thrift stores on Mondays are crazy because all the sharks come out. I mean, I guess I'm one of them because I'm out here thrifting, but people get vicious. So I might not film every single second of every everything in the thrift store, but I'll show you as much as I can. Let's go. This store used to be one of my favorite Goodwills. They've completely gone crazy with their prices. $20 for this hoodie with cat hair. $20 for this Adidas shirt with pit stains. Unbelievable. Couple Tom Brady jerseys, they were decently priced, but just all worn out. Plus, who likes the Patriots anyways? Not us and Indy, we hate the Patriots. All right. So that Goodwill was a complete bust. They're starting to get crazy with their prices. To the moon, they need to come back to earth. Here we go, on to the next. They rolled out a cart with some Under Armour women's shorts. I don't usually pick up women's shorts, but there were a few different pairs, the same size, four bucks a piece. So what I'll do is probably get them all lot them together, make sure they're in good condition, lot them together, and then sell them as a group. I'll decide the price later at home. I also ran into some men's like outdoor pants. These are called Mountain Khaki. They used to be popular when I first started selling, maybe 2016, 2015. They would bring pretty good money. They don't do as well, but they're really well made. And as long as they're in good condition for five bucks or so, I'll pick them up. I also found right near a couple pairs of Adidas pants. I was pretty excited. They're golf pants. They sell really well, but they were all pilled up. They had that sheen to them that like they've been worn out. Some snags. They just weren't in good condition. I don't want to make the customers unhappy, so I left them behind. Ah, this thrift store. They've had this red vest for like two weeks. I just keep looking at it and wanting to get it. I think I can make 10 bucks off it, but I don't know. I left it behind again. I ran into some Lululemon on a cart that just rolled out. I normally wouldn't pick this up anymore uh, just because it was kind of just, eh, nothing special. But I actually found the comp because it had the tag and it sells pretty well, so I picked it up. Golf clubs are one of the few hard goods I look for just because they're a really good marketplace sell. But I think they pick them all now because I really don't find any good golf clubs anymore. Didn't find any here either. $31 at this Goodwill. Uh, so that's my second. First one, nothing. Second one, I got some stuff, headed to my third. See you there. Right next to this Ross store, I wanna go in. Sometimes I do retail arbitrage, which means I buy stuff from the retail store and resell it online. Let's see what Let's I can see. find. It's like a straight up tornado came through here. Look at all this stuff on, it's a mess. And for real, look at this. Just shoes everywhere, hanging, stuff all over. What, what on earth? That was a complete waste of time. A tornado came through and completely destroyed everything in its path, left nothing for me. Time for a uh, lunch energy break. Get a couple of my monsters. Come on down. Get my muscle boat to fill my belly. Back to work. Got my lunch, my energy. Let's go to the next door. So this is a brand I used to get quite a bit, not so much anymore, unless it's the Magnum PI, but Paradise Found used to be a good brand. Look for the birds on the shirts. Ran into a cart with foot joys on them. There were a couple that were in good condition, uh, the yellow one and the other with stripes. And then I found this other with a whole bunch of stains on the belly, nasty. So I left it behind. There's a couple more. I found some vineyard vine shirts that are bread and butter shirts, so I picked them up, brought them home. On the same card, I found this LuLaRoe. This is the most laughable brand. It used to be so hot, now it's worthless, pretty much. Um, also found this pair of pants, I'll talk about them more later, but it's a good brand to look for. They make a lot of uh, shirts and Just sweaters. Just Will. Spent like 43 bucks. I'll show you what I got when we get home. Welcome back home, everybody. It was a long day, five hours. It was more than what I wanted to do but I'll be able to get some work done here. Uh, but I wanna show you what I got. So the sharks were out today and also there wasn't a lot of picking out in the thrift stores. Um, they've really jacked the prices up 
on a lot of things in a recessionary environment. You'd think they wouldn't be doing that, but they like the Adidas polo shirt for $19.99. That's ridiculous because you can go to Ross, which I showed you in the video and get the same one for the same price new with tax. So I don't know what Goodwill's thinking. The employees, the managers at the stores, great people, good cause. I like them. Um, some of my old students work at Goodwill. I love it. But I think it's at the corporate level, you know, those guys making half a million dollars. Check it out. The facts are online. I've checked it out myself. So those non-for-profit people making a half a million dollars are trickling down. I think they're saying, you know, the resellers are making all this money. Price everything up as high as you can. Goodwill is the OG of reselling. They have their own resale shop, shopgoodwill.com, where they pick everything out of the store. Good luck finding an antique or anything that's worth any money. Uh, they pick it out and throw it on goodwill.com and get as much money as they can for this non-for-profit. Non -for you know, I was a teacher for 13 years, making $50,000 teaching the youth of America. I feel like that's a non-for-profit. Just my opinion. These guys are making a half a million. But anyways, done with the rant. First store I went to, price super high, didn't get anything. Went to the second store. Today I spent about $120 total. So I'm not going to go through each item and tell you how much I made or how much I think I'll make. I think after everything I totaled it up, I'll be able to gross probably five to six hundred and net maybe three to four hundred. So I found this Lululemon top and I think you saw it. Uh, it actually had the pull off tag, which helps the value. Um, and I haven't been buying Lululemon tops very much just because they haven't been selling as well as they used to maybe three or four years ago. But this one is in good condition, it had the pull-off tag. It, it, it's not like that cottony feel material. It's more of the polyester material. So that one, $5.99. I paid up a little bit for that. That's all right. Um, again, today was no, it was not a home run day. Everything kind of was nickel and dime type of stuff. But let me go through it and show you. And you know I like to kind of go fast because I don't want to waste your time. But these are J. Crew men's pants and i like to buy j crew men's jeans specifically if they're selvage these are japanese selvage and they happen to be new with tags so that helps out of course but even if they weren't for 7.99 that's how much jeans are normally listed for lucky brand and other stuff they price up but normal pair of jeans are 7.99 here and i like the selvage type and you know selvage because they have they usually have the um, red lines down the seam. This pair doesn't, but I know with J. Crew, look on the inside for that Japanese selvage print. Next item I got uh, was this Built. This is a newer brand. You probably see a lot of ads online. Um, it's like a stretchy material, a uh, little Lululemon feel. They have like a drop cut. It's almost like a, a horseshoe shape down here at the bottom, so it, it lays nice. Uh, for working out, but uh, I, I feel like this brand is going to be oversaturated really quick. So I'm buying it now pretty soon. I, I already can tell with the prices. I've been doing this long enough that it's going to, they're going to come down. So this was $5. I think I could sell it for like 18. Um, I've sold them before and I feel like the longer they're online for, the less I'm getting. So maybe a year ago when they first came out, I was getting maybe $24 for them, and now they're under 20. So unfortunately, I can see those going quickly, be aware. So whenever I see these uh, pants on the rack, most of the time there's some off-brand foe, but if I see the red tag, I know they're Spanx, and they're not stretched out, good condition. Spanx are super expensive. They actually make it in men's too. So be on the lookout for men's Spanx. They're very plain like white shirts, but you can tell the material very tight. Um, five bucks. Again, I don't need to go through all the prices, but got these Spanx, and these always sell well for me, and they sell quickly if you price them right. Now, these are something, bread and butter, that I buy in the spring and summer only. I don't even buy them in the winter to save for spring and summer just because they take up so much room because they're bulky. But the Polo Ralph Lauren cargo pants with the newer tag, especially if they're big, these aren't that big. But I'll buy these for $3.99 and resell them for maybe $15 or $18. And they sell really quick. My goal is to get stuff out the door 
um, and make a profit, of course, but get it out the door because I don't like money sitting. Money sitting does nothing for you. So I like to, in my business model, price things a little bit cheaper, get them out the door, move that money to the next item. I don't want my money sitting. So found these Under Armour. Of course, they're pricing these up big time. Um, just Under Armour with this straight, the stretch band. These are called match play shorts. And a lot of time you have to look for like ball marks there because the golfer will wipe their balls off right there on the side. The golf balls. And uh, these are actually 10 bucks. These are one of the few things that I'll pay up for. Goodwill's trying to be cute and price up all their Under Armour. Um, that's all right. I will buy these in the pants for 10 bucks and sell them for 23. So I'm fine making $10 on those. And they'll sell really quick for me. LL Bean flannels in the fall sell really well, especially I start listing these in September and they sell pretty quick, not for a ton of money. Again, I'll get at least $10 profit net in my pocket for each one. But if you find them all the time, it adds up, especially if you uh, have templates already made out like I do. These add up. So just the LL Bean flannel, these cost five bucks for me. So that's that. All right, guys, off to a, another thrift store. So you saw I got these Under Armour shorts. They're all women's running shorts, especially being spring and summer. I'm gonna pick these up if I can find them all together, a lot at the same size, because I will lock them together and sell them together. Um, it's just easier that way because they only sell for about maybe $12 a piece online. Um, maybe a little more, I don't know, but um, since there's four, it costs me $16 for all four. I'll probably sell all of them for like 40, maybe $44, somewhere in there. Um, so I'll lot them up, put them all in a flat rate envelope, ship them together. They're all in really good condition. I won't be super detailed with the pictures, just take a picture of each one, maybe size of one of them. So maybe eight pictures total of those. I also found this Lululemon top again i almost did not pick it up but it did have the tag and i was able to find the style of it and the style actually has really good comps i mean not really good but pretty good so this is five dollars i thought this would have only brought like 12. i think it's going to bring me about 30 bucks uh, because the comps with this back i found the comp by looking at the unique back and the tag and so this will bring me a little bit more money lululemon I'm pretty particular about it if it's women's. It has to be has to be special these days for me to pick it up, especially if they price it up. Uh, on to the next one. Bought these women's Levi's. I don't look at women's clothing too often. Those shorts and these Levi's were all on the same cart they brought out, uh, and they were new with tags. They actually had a Ross on it for 21 bucks, but I'll take that off when I sell it. Um, they had the original tag on it for 69, and I look up comps. Just look up 721 skinny and the comps are about 30 bucks um a little bit less some of them were more i'm thinking around 30 dollars they were 7.99 stretchy good you can never go long wrong with levi's especially if they're new with tags i pick them up you saw me in the men's section so let's start off with this brand right here mountain khaki so you saw me pick up some mountain khaki and this is a brand that used to do really well when I started out about 2016, 2015, 17, around in there. It does not do as well as it used to, but they still sell. They still sell for about 20, 22 bucks for me, um, shipped, like the buyer pays shipping. So if I can buy them for five bucks, like these are five bucks, I'll pick them up. And I have sold them so many times that I have templates for them. They're super easy for me to list. A lot of this stuff is easy for me to list. So you saw I bought two pairs of these, um, five bucks a piece. I'll be able to sell them for probably 20 a piece. So 10 and to 40, not too bad. And then right with them was this Steo. I've been finding this brand more often. It must be like a, a mountain brand again, because I've seen a lot of vests and actually it says mountain on it. And they were with the mountain khakis. So probably donated by the same person. And these have good comps. This is a brand that have pretty good comps. I mean, they're not like a CC Filson or Arcteryx or anything, but they're not crazy. $7.99, had to get them. So got those, and that was at that thrift. All right, so I went to a couple more stores in between this final thrift store, and I didn't find anything. They were selling or purging a lot of stuff and flipping the store around, like putting all the spring stuff in the front and the winter stuff in the back. 
And usually that time of year, they just are a little bit slower putting stuff out just because they're busy doing that. Um, but I found a whole bunch of these Vineyard Vines shirts and you saw them in my video, me pulling through them. They just rolled out a cart with them. You know, four years ago, I would have seen these and my blood would have been like, woo! But now it's just like, ah, I'll get them their bread and butter, especially if they have the logo on them, like the Tucker shirts. I think these are all, yeah, classic Tucker shirts. They'll sell for about 18 bucks for me. Um, this one, I'm just now seeing it has a hole in it. So that's no good. I'll probably damage that one out. And since it's my business, I can do that. I'll just damage it out uh, for five bucks. So put that aside. And then the other one, just again, a Tucker shirt. So these sell for $18. I'm gonna pick them up for four or $5 still. They used to sell for in the 20s, almost 30. They don't do as well. I'm sure you guys all know that by now. And then they had a whole bunch of foot joys on the same cart. Obviously, I think they all belong to the same person. Foot Joy has gone downhill for me, but I still pick it up because it's a bread and butter brand. If I can make $10 profit, like in my pocket, I will. So I found this one. There were some others. They had stains on them, all nasty looking and stuff. But found this one. Found another one. Too bad the other ones did not. Uh, were not they were in awful condition with the stains. These were in good condition. They're both small, which actually is a good size. And, and these polos, the foot joys, I like to buy small. I like to buy 2XL. Those are my favorite sizes for those. Um, but pick those up. Again, those were $5 each. And I'll probably sell them for around $15 to $16 each. So it's not a ton of money. But it's bread and butter. And when you find a lot of them, they add up. All this stuff just adds up. And that's how you make it worth your while. So this is a brand called Wallace and Barnes. They sell them at J. Crew, and it's okay. It has a little hole right here. That's no big deal. These are military pants, like military style. Um, and I find these a lot, uh, this brand a lot, in like sweaters, in uh, waffle shirts, like crew necks, um, a lot of winter type stuff. And they do really well for me. Uh, again, here's a tag. And uh, yeah, they do well. And so I picked them up. They were on the same card and all that stuff. I'm guessing, again, it all came from the same guy. So thanks for spending your time with me today. These are the type of videos that I miss. I used to watch these when I first started in like 2015, 2016, when I sold clothes. I did antiques for a long time before that. But when I started doing clothes, I loved these like go out and shop, bring them home. What hauls? What'd you get? How much do you pay? How much do you think you'll make? Those are how I learn different things. And I know that thrift stores are increasing their prices. But you just have to go with it, go with the flow. There's also garage sales, church sales, other thrift stores out there, guys. I, I don't just go to Goodwill, um, Salvation Army. You can go to Ross and get good stuff too. But I want to continue to make these because this is how I learn. I just don't see them as much online anymore. So if you like them, come with me and subscribe, and I'll bring more to you.